Good day everyone, welcome to Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. We are still on Ghana teacher line center exams. We are solving past questions on numeracy, April 2024. Question 17. An examination paper is supposed to start at 7.45 a.m. If the duration of the paper is 2 hours 30 minutes, at what time will the paper end? So before we start solving this question, let's look at a scenario. Let's say uh, you went to a cinema, you went to a cinema to, to watch a movie and then the movie started at exactly 7 o'clock p.m. and you are told that the duration of this movie is two hours. So the movie will end in two hours time. So at what time will this movie end? So clearly you can see that if the movie started at, or if the movie starts at 7 o'clock p.m. and the duration is two hours, then obviously the movie will end at exactly 9 o'clock p.m. So how, how did we get the 9 o'clock p.m.? So you can see that we added the start time to the duration. When you add 2 to 7, that should give us 9. So the same concept. We should app Let's apply the same concept here. Now here we know that the exam is supposed to start at exactly 7.45 a.m. So we have the hours and the minutes. So 7.45, 7 will be placed at the hours column and then 45 will be placed at the minutes column. We are told that the duration of this paper is 2 hours 30 minutes so how then do we calculate the end time the time the paper will end so as we just discovered we need to add the start time to the duration so now let's start as you can see we are performing addition of time so let's start with the minute column 45 minutes plus 30 minutes so that is 75 minutes that is 75 minutes but let's look at something we are talking about time so on the wall clock or on the digital clock we can have something like um 10 58 a.m is possible we can have 10 59 a.m it is possible but do we have 10 60 a.m on the wall clock or on the digital clock, we don't have 10:60 a.m. 10:60 a.m. is the same as 11 o'clock a.m. So what is happening? Anytime you get to 60 minutes, you have to change the 60 minutes to hour, because we know that every 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour. So that's why we said that 10:60 a.m. is the same as 11 o'clock a.m. So the same thing here, we are having 75 minutes. And on the workload, we cannot have a time whereby the minute is 75. So we need to convert 75 minutes into hours and minutes. So now let's subtract 60 minutes from 75 minutes. So that will be 60 minutes. So what should be the remainder? When we take away 60 minutes from 75 minutes, we'll be left with 15 minutes so the 75 minutes have been written as 60 minutes plus 15 minutes because 60 plus 15 is 75 and we know that 60 minutes is also the same as one hour so 60 minutes here will be converted to one hour and then we have our 15 minutes so at the minute column we are going to have 15 Take note, we have an extra one hour. We have an extra one hour. And then we know that for the, for the hours column, seven hours plus two hours, that is nine hours plus the extra one hour, making 10, making 10. And then since the paper is starting at 7.45 a.m., two hours, 30 minutes after 7.45 a.m. will still be in a.m., will still be in a.m. So in conclusion, in conclusion, the paper 
will end at exactly 10 15 a.m so the right answer is option b thanks for watching